So the other day I was cleaning out my car and I noticed this little rust spot here on the inside of the back door. So today we're gonna do something about it. Rust is like cancer for cars and the sooner that you can catch it and treat it, the better it is. And it could be the difference between doing like a little $20 DIY like I'm about to do right here, or if it goes untreated for too long, it could possibly mean paying um, a body shop thousands of dollars to uh, basically replace entire panels with new sheet metal. So we don't wanna let it get to that point. We're gonna fix it right now while it's still uh, kind of fresh and new here. The first step is just gonna be to thoroughly clean the affected area. So we're just coming out of winter right now. So there's gonna be some salt and some dirt built up in there. Uh, when you're just doing these really quick washes like at the quarter car wash, like what I do, uh, you're not always necessarily getting into all of these door jams and stuff where the salt tends to build up. So I've got this bottle of uh, hot, uh, soapy water. I just use dish soap. That way we get the oils and stuff out of there. That way the paint will stick really well to that. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to clean up this area. I just scrubbed the underside of the door here with soap. Now I just replaced all the water in here with just fresh water so I can rinse all the soap off. So now that the underside of the door here is clean, we're gonna be uh, masking everything off. Uh, we're gonna be sanding and using some chemicals that are potentially harmful to paint. So I wanna keep the good paint looking fresh and just keep everything just isolated to this one area. Um, I'm even gonna be putting a trash bag on the outside of the door and that might seem like overkill, but never underestimate how far uh, the spray paint overspray can travel. So here's how we're looking right now. I just put this trash bag so that the stuff won't get on the seat there. And then the inside of the door I covered with paper so that the paint doesn't get on there. And then the paper's also on the outside of the door as well. So with everything masked off now, we can start removing the paint and it's possible that the rust could be underneath the paint. Sometimes the paint will bubble up a little bit and there's no point in just painting over that because the rust is eventually gonna come back. So that's why we're gonna take this down to the bare metal. That way we're just absolutely sure that there's no rust underneath it that we can't see. All right, boys, safety first. So after the sanding's done, we got like all the paint off of that area, so it's just the bare metal. We're gonna be using the stuff called Naval Jelly. This is like a chemical uh, rust remover, and that's gonna be like absolutely sure that all the rust and oxidation is off there before we start painting it. So just so that you guys know, this stuff is kind of harsh, so make sure that you're using gloves, and uh, this will actually hurt the paint too. That's why it's really important to mask everything off and try not to get this on any paint that you don't want uh, to be removed or anything. So that's gonna be the next step. You basically put this on, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then just rinse it off with water. So now that we have that section down to bare metal, it's time to paint and protect it. And for that, I got this stuff, it's called Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. This is what I'm gonna be putting down as a base coat. And it's got like additives in it that are gonna help keep the rust from coming back. So we'll do two coats of this, we'll wait for that to dry, and then we'll put the paint on top of that. So just a pro tip, if you're spray painting on a cold day like this, I had these sitting in a bucket of warm water. That just helps the paint spray better. So we just did two coats of the Rust-Oleum on here and we gave it 10 minutes to dry. Now it's time to do the top coat with the actual paint color. 
Now I know somebody's gonna ask why I didn't like go to the BMW dealership and have them mix up, you know, the correct, uh, accurate color code and everything. But for me personally, uh, for the inside of the bottom of the back door, it's just not something that I'm super worried about. Nobody's ever gonna see this spot. Uh, now for you, if you're really worried about that, you could order the exact paint code for your car. But uh, like I said, for me, it just doesn't matter too much. I got the closest color possible. So we're just gonna go with this. All right, so I just did two coats of the black paint, so now I'm just gonna do a coat of clear on top of it to kind of seal everything up, and then this should be good to go. So I'm actually really impressed at how well this came out. And when it comes to rust on cars, you really need to be proactive about it and make sure that you catch it when it's in this early stage. When it gets to the point where it's like bubbling through to the outside of the car, it's really too late. And at that point, you're probably gonna be paying a body shop a ton of money to have that replaced. So do this procedure. If you see any little bit of rust on your car, take care of it, the sooner the better. So if you found this video helpful, just give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna put some affiliate links in the description for all the products that I use today. I really appreciate your support um, when you buy the stuff through the links, I appreciate that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also a big thanks to my dad uh, for providing his expertise today. I know somebody's gonna ask like why I didn't go get, you know, that, the, the, that. <laughs> sitting in uh, a thing of warm water and that just helps keep the paint uh, nice and painty. That way it, uh, <laughs> that way it's, <laughs> what should I even say? You think this is a friggin' Mona Lisa? So I just asked my dad if we had any safety goggles laying around and this is what he gave me. What do you think guys, should I use these or what? Just using the stuff that's called Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. You good? <laughs> what? Just hear a gasp like Kirby. <laughs> I did not. <laughs>